Joining me on Doctor's Corner is optometrist Dr. Pavan Avanashi, and he's here to talk about presbyopia awareness and the latest in eye care technology. Welcome to the show, Dr. Avanashi. Thank you so much. Happy to be talking to you. I'm excited, and it's World Sight Day coming up on October 12th. That's right. And the theme is make vision make your vision count. That's right. You know, the World Sight Day is a global initiative that happens annually, and it's to bring focus and awareness to visual impairment and blindness. It's a great initiative that is uh, uh, that is supported by numerous global organizations, including the World Health Organization and Optometry Giving Sight. Well, that's wonderful. Now, which leads me to presbyopia awareness. What is that? What is that condition? What is presbyopia? Good question. Literally translated from Latin, it means the aging eye. So it's a natural physiological process that affects every human being. And it's when we lose the ability to focus in that near. It's the loss of elasticity of our accommodative system. So when the maturing population base in the world, close to 2 billion people will be affected by presbyopia or are currently being affected by presbyopia. And over 40? Is that That's right. That's typically the magic age that we say, that it starts to develop or symptomatically happen close to the age of 40 years old. Some people, it's right on their 40th birthday. Some people, it's not till their mid to late 40s. But inevitably, it happens to absolutely everybody. Dr. Adam Ashley, when, when do we really know that we do have, we should see an eye doctor, right? Yeah. I, I always can If you feel like there's been some change and uh, you are starting to notice that ability, to, or that inability to start to focus at new things at near, A, don't freak out. Just realize that this is a natural process. B, don't ignore it at the same time. Uh, once you feel like it's something that's pretty common or becoming a regular part or debilitating part of your daily routine, I would consult with an eye doctor. Come see your optometrist, and they'll be happy to discuss the various options that you can do to address this weakening ability to focus in at near or this presbyopia. Yes, and also if you're on a run or a hike and you can't see your fitness tracker or your watch, yeah. you might have that condition. <laughs> That's true, and uh, let's, let's look at the options. I mean, uh, up till now, for years and years, we would either give reading glasses or we would have to put a patient into progressive glasses or bifocals to amend or ad address this fact that you're having challenges reading at near. Nowadays, technology has changed, and, and we can introduce this technology into contact lenses, which gives active people an option to address this as well. Is the Daily's total one multifocals? Absolutely. Well, I mean, we've been great. This has been great that we have this new technology. It's a very innovative process where it's a contact lens that allows you to seamlessly see not only at distance but also at near as well. And it's great because it's a daily modality contact lens. So it, it has optimal comfort, optimal convenience, and then it gives you that, like I said, that ability to focus in at distance but also have that ability to compensate for near as well. It helps with your healthy lifestyle and also too is that it can help with stigmatism or depending on your condition, yeah, right? Yeah, depending on your condition you can do stigmatism, but with the multifocal contact lens, of course, it, we're focusing on just giving you comfortable and great distance vision with the ability to see and focus in at near. So for a runner, for example, you, nowadays with so much technology that you have that you're tracking your, your pace, your distance that you're running, your heart rate, sometimes my patients are stopping are not using those technologies, are not adopting those technologies because they're having a challenge. They're in mid-run, they can't see their watch. They can't look at their smart device to see what's going on. With the Daily's Total One multifocal contact lens and technology like that, it, you can do this seamlessly without having to pause or flinch at all. Yes, yeah, so you have like a monthly, daily as well. Like yeah. So there's daily contact lenses, there's monthly contact lenses as well. In the, in the monthly modalities, there's some great multifocal lenses as well. But for an active lifestyle, I'm a huge proponent of dailies. A, because of the comfort, the convenience, and just the overall health benefits, especially with the, the uh, Daily's Total One contact lens. It's a water gradient contact lens. It's a first in the market that has that technology, which allows a, a person that may have prone to dryness or exposed to the winds and the elements, it helps counter that a lot easier and a lot better as well. Yes, and just to say, so if you're noticing a uh, change in your eye vision, you need to see up close or there's your squinting or eye strain, yeah. see an optometrist. Yes, of course. I think that would be the initial start as opposed to self-diagnosing or ignoring the fact that what's happening. A lot of people are well aware that when this starts to happen, it's, it's a maturing, it's a reality of life that we're getting old. But at the end of the day, if it's affecting your life, we have a lot of great tools and options to help offset this. Make sure you see your eye doctor of to course. see if you have that condition, yeah. presbyopia. Yeah. 
and to get an eye exam every year, right? Absolutely. We, we advocate check yearly, see clearly. Uh, you know, on average, every person should be seeing their eyes checked at least once a year. And I want to thank you very much for coming on the show. And for more information, you can go to loseyourreaders.ca.